Hello everyone, this is a general reading. If this reading resonates, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So this reading is based on the good news that's coming to you in this month of March 2024. The first card I pull for your career in finance is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a good energy it indicates that multiple possibilities for career advancements are open to you. Spirit wants you to be mindful of biting off more than you can chew. So be very selective when you see what's available and make sure you have the time to follow through on the projects or um, side gigs that you start. Um, this also Seven of Cups can represent um, a warning for you not to spend all of your time brainstorming and forget to take practical steps to make your dreams reality. So it's one thing to think of a good idea and want to perfect it, but you do have to take active steps to get the ball rolling. In a financial context, seven of cups means you should have lots of opportunity to make money, but you need to be careful before making investments. Um, you should check any investment opportunities out thoroughly and consult a professional financial advisor first, as they might not be as good as a deal as they initially appear. So, you know, everything that glitter, it, it isn't gold. And what may work for someone else may not work for you, just depending on how much energy um, you're able to give to that. So, like I said, just be very mindful of your time and what really fits you. Because a lot of people have a different lifestyle than you. So they can put more energy to make um, perhaps a sales venture go better than you could. Or they know more people who would invest. Um, so for our next card, we have the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords, it represents ambition, drive, and, and determination. You know what you want to achieve. And you're going for it, you know. So be bold and brave. And go after it with full throttle. You know, you're rushing in. It's a knight. <laughs> so um, also with the Knight of Swords, it can represent a big change in your career. Or arrival or departure of some kind, you may get the promotion you was hoping for, or a new job or a change of industry. Um, whatever the case, it will be a positive change and one that you have been wishing for. So take the moment and jump in with both feet. Um, that's pretty much it with the Knight of Swords energy. It's basically telling you go full throttle with this new uh, venture or this career opportunity. Next, we have the chariot card, and I love the chariot. It represents movement. So let's say you started a YouTube channel and you wasn't really doing too much. Well, guess what? Go ahead and start back on it because you fit and have some movement. You're going to get new subscribers. It's going to be popping, okay? But you do have to put the work in. Um, but back to the chariot card. That was just a little example because that's kind of like the energy I'm in right now. Thank God. <laughs> so um, with the chariot card, in a work context, you should be very, you should be feeling very ambitious and motivated. Um, if you ha if you have been having any issues with work colleagues that you feel may be trying to sabotage you, um, put your worries aside and continue to work hard and keep your self control. Um, if you're a job seeker or have been feeling stuck in a rut with your career, um, now is a good time to go after the job you always wanted. So let's say some of you want to go into management and you never really did um, management professionally. Like, go ahead. Like, you got this. Like, you know how people is. You know how to deal with people. So that's just one example. This won't apply to everyone. But the general is, like, if there's something you've been wanting to get into and you have that drive, which the chariot card represents that drive and ambition, go ahead and do it. Because your energy is going to show employers that you are that person, that you can fulfill this job position. Um, you definitely will be beating out competition because this energy is on you very strong. Like you have that determination. You know, people read energy. They may not say it, but we look at someone's personality, their energy. When it comes to interview, like it's not just the appearance, it's your energy as well. So if you come in, they can instantly pick up like, oh, wow. Like this person is determined. So that going to make you stand out way further than other people who just think their resume is enough and they drive personality. No. Okay. So people want to see that you're ambitious and that you really want to work there. Um, the chariot card also represents 
overcome obstacles. So if there's been any financial challenges that has seemed like it just been too much, um, this is a good time to tackle that. And when I say tackle it, I mean, look for ways to get around it. So definitely look for a high paying job because a lot of us, we work in jobs that do not take care of the minimum, you know, so you definitely want to look for other opportunities that are lucrative or perhaps start a business or whatever works for you. Cause everyone sure can't be an entrepreneur cause everyone don't have the drive for it. But according with this energy, the chariot card, you have the drive, whatever you put your mind to, you can definitely achieve it. So the last card that we have is the eight of swords. So with this card, as soon as you look at it, this person tied up with a blindfold. Um, they have the illusion of being trapped, but really they could take the blindfold off and wiggle their way out the little band-aids or whatever they in. So with this Eight of Swords, um, a lot of y'all may, due to the past, due to the past, because I was like, when I saw this energy, I'm like, okay, we got all this fast movement, chariot, options, ambition. Why the Eight of Swords? So as I started to look, I was like, okay, this Eight of Swords, basically going back to this chariot card, it's feeding off this energy. So a lot of y'all may have some financial challenges so with this Eight of Sword, it says you currently feel trapped or restricted by your current financial status. But again, this is more to do with your anxiety than the rea reality of your situation. It says you need to get creative and think outside of the box if you want to make more money. There are ways to get what you want. Don't give in to fear. So like, I know a lot of stuff is easier said than done, but the reality is if you're not making enough, even if you got kids and you got to, you don't have a babysitter, it's so many work at home jobs. It's so many things you can do. Um, DYI, um, make products, start a channel. Um, it's just so with the internet, it's sky's the limit. If you just get creative, you will find a way. And if there's a will, there's a way. So even around your neighborhood, wherever you live at, there's always an opportunity to make money. Scared money don't make no money, okay? So y'all keep that in mind. You can't be scared to ask someone like, oh, do you need your grass cut? Do you need your kids? Um, Do you need me to babysit? You can post ads. Like, there's social media. You can post um ads saying, oh, I babysit or I do this or I do hair or I cut grass. And you can start a business from just simple stuff that you don't mind doing. Or even if you like to clean house, you can start in your neighborhood a small cleaning service. Like there's literally tons of things you can do as long as you're like, you know, up to do it, you know, cause some of us got health issues or suffer from depression. But let me tell you, this is your season. Scared money don't make no money. You know what I'm saying? You can sleep when you're dead. If you got to get your finances in order, get it in order. Because once you do, you can start living until then you're going to feel trapped. And right now in this month of March, 2024, this the energy surround this month for you guys, for everyone who's listening to this reading, this is your time. You will see the movement. But the thing is, you have to get the ball rolling. Okay? So, y'all, if this reading resonate, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I love when y'all comment. It lets me know that I'm resonating with the audience. That way I can feel inspired to put out more content, okay? I'm feeding off y'all energy because I don't want to be posting and nobody listening. And please, y'all, share share my content. You know, I'm trying to build my channel. I, I done been on YouTube like two years now. You know, I, I barely be posting because, you know, I be going through stuff. I'm human. But with that being said, it's your girl, Juju. Y'all stay tuned. More content coming soon. Y'all have a good one. Stay blessed.